Hi, I'm Amy at cybernews.com, a source of cybersecurity advice for more secure online choices. What comes to mind when you hear the word hacking? Chances are that you're probably more familiar with the hackers from the movies or the news stealing millions of dollars through online fraud. Yes, hacking is often associated with illegal intrusions into military systems or digital heists. However, this paints the picture in quite broad strokes and neglects the fact that there is another side to this coin. And it's called ethical hacking. So what is ethical hacking really? Ethical hacking is an authorized attempt to gain unauthorized access to a computer system, applications or data to test an organization's defenses. It aims to identify and disclose security vulnerabilities or threats and systems to the owners before a malicious hacker could cause loss of data, financial loss or other major damages. So what is the point? Is it really necessary? In today's world, ethical hacking is very important for cybersecurity infrastructures. An ethical hacker has the advantage of coming from the outside and brings an entirely different point of view to the table. It means that they can find a vulnerability where an organization's internal team would never have thought in a million years to look, much alone begin to patch up. A real ethical hacker always starts afresh and doesn't rely on the organization to provide intel on weak or strong points. Operating like a malicious attacker would, they gather all the data on their own and then develop a plan of attack. This might involve social engineering, setting up phishing attacks, or checking for employees' social media accounts in a past data breach dump. And because of all the incredible work that they can do, ethical hackers have even been employed by various governments in an attempt to prevent cyber terrorism and terrorist attacks all across the world. Now let's discuss the types of hackers and how to identify them. There are three types of hackers, white, black, and gray. These colors are a way to distinguish between the different intents that a hacker might have. Usually, when we say a hacker, we assume a shady individual with a hoodie that's after your bank information. That's a black hat hacker. He operates with malicious intent. No ethical limitations, only personal gain. This malicious hacker can stage man-in-the-middle attacks, running botnets or breaking passwords. In many cases, black hats don't give any warning about their attacks and don't explain their methods. Now let's look at grey hat hackers. They don't necessarily announce their visit either. In most cases, they're just looking for exploits, which they might disclose to the company for a bug bounty. This type of hacker does not have the same level of malice as a black hat. Also, when it comes to bounties or a jail sentence, black hat hacking might seem less appealing. For more information on ethical hacking, click the link just down in the description and head to our website. Now let's look at white hat hackers. White hat hackers are sort of hackers that we mentioned at the beginning. Usually companies themselves actually welcome the ethical hackers with open arms. Although not always, as some companies view it as an attack regardless of context. White hatters are just as capable as the black hats and they may use the same methods and tools used by the black hats, but of course, with the permission of the authorized person to improve the security levels and defend the systems. The best part is that if they play their cards right, most white hat hackers can even get employed by the organizations that they've actually hacked into. After listening to this, I'm sure you're pretty curious about these guys. So here's our list of notorious white hat hackers that you should check out. Sean Wright, this guy is the lead software security engineer and the head of OWASP chapter, which is a community of cybersecurity specialists that specialize in web applications. Daniel Miesler, Daniel is a widely known cybersecurity expert with almost 20 years of experience under his belt. He focuses mostly on web applications and IT security programs. Alyssa Miller. Alyssa Miller is a well-known hacker who launched her career pretty much during school years. This led to handle testing roles and eventually to more general vulnerability management roles. AKA Namsec. AKA is the head of hacker education at HackerOne. He's single-handedly responsible for over 600 loopholes that are found across services like Airbnb, Snapchat, and Google. So you've got three different types of hackers. The white hat hackers or ethical hackers are actually the good guys. And their job is to identify and disclose cybersecurity threats so that the malice hackers are unable to cause any data or financial losses. And not just for the private organizations, they also handle very important roles for the government, which include matters related to national security. So that's it for today. For more information, just click the link down in the description and head to our website. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Until next time.